Hello everyone, welcome to one of my channel. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on subscribe button and then click bell icon to get daily and weekly updates when I upload a new video. So on this video, I'll be showing how to model a simple chocolate bar. So here I have a basic cube here. Now right click to select your cube. Press S. Now press X to scale on the axis. Now press S. Press Y to scale on Y axis. Now press S then Z to scale on Z axis. Go to orthographic view by pressing 5. Press now go to front view by pressing 1 and align to the red line here. So, uh, it will be our surface. Now press 5 to come out of my orthographic view. Now press tab go to edit mode press a to deselect all zoom in a little bit here or you can press 7 then press 5 go to orthographic view to view on in top angle now press z to go to wireframe so now we will uh, cut uh, the blocks which are on the top of your chocolate bar so first of all we will add the center so hold control and press r so we'll add little bit here then press a to deselect it then repeat the process this time to down here and now we will add one second another loop cut this time at the center just scroll your mouse wheel to add some blocks here you can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, we have 6 blocks and we need to add another loop cut here so hold the control and press R repeat the process to every block here now press 5 to come out of your orthographic view then press Z and go to, uh, sorry, go to solid view and you can see there are no nothing but we have to exclude these blocks here so go to face selection mode here select it and select every block right click to select your block then hold shift and right click to another block repeat the process to until you select all the blocks now press hold alt and press E to make individual faces go to pivot point here and select individual origins now select E now press E to exclude on the individual faces now scale now once again exclude on now scale now press E then scale now press E once again so guys this uh, looks like a small chocolate bar here so we will now press 5 once again press 1 and uh, I will press Z to go to wireframe why because I am going to wireframe because I think the height of the chocolate bar is little bit tall so I just press B to go to, to my box selection here and uh, drag it uh, a little bit here this much and uh, press A to deselect all and I will press 5 and then press Z and then go to solid view here now go to modifiers add modifier select subdivision surface modifier select here simple view to 4 and uh, click here smooth and now we will add a surface to our chocolate bar here I will uh, hold shift and press A mesh plane now I will scale now I will press shift and press C to center my 3D cursor and uh, shift A mesh and plane add a platform or a surface 
so just scale it and uh, I'll press 5 so guys here I'll zoom a little bit uh, here you can see that there is a gap between our uh, chocolate bar and a platform so right click to select your chocolate bar and uh, drag on z axis to match the platform here so even here you can see that there is a gap between our chocolate bar and uh, our surface so you just need to right click to select your cube and uh, drag it on the z axis to add, uh, and uh, that's it press 5 to come out of your orthographic view and uh, now we will add some materials to our chocolate bar and our surface now go to materials here click on new then we will open a node editor here and we will close this tools panel by pressing T we will change this area to node editor uh, in between diffuse and material output uh, we will apply a mix shader so hold shift and press A shader mix shader and go to here diffuse so uh, uh, sorry I didn't change the mode here so I'll just shift Z to change the mode here so you can see the preview so now click on here white color reduce the size to dark this much and then click on the color here and the hex value is so now we will add a mix shader shift a shader mix shader so it turns into black so now go to diffuse uh, here select it and click on the white color here and uh, you can see there is two options like light uh, light and dark so reduce it to darker here and apply a color so in preview we can't see uh, any image it's uh, like darker turn into dark black so now we will add a glossy shader shift a shader glossy shader and reduce its roughness now we will add a face value to it hold shift uh, shift a input layer weights and connect it to face value here and blend it like point I think 0 0.3 and roughness to like in a glossy uh, just add 0 0.25 or 0 0.3 so now we will select our platform here and click on new same uh, we will go to shift shift a shader mix shader and once again shift a shader glossy shader and you can adjust the roughness to add a roughness value to it or uh, I think 0 0.25 is perfect and then now right click to select your lamp and click on use notes button now click on size press 3 and enter now set the strength value to 1500 and go to world here click on this color and raise this black to white uh, here you can see there is a slider to adjust the black uh, brightness and darkness so raise it to a little bit white and that's it uh, we will close our windows here and now we will press 0 to go to camera view or press N click on tick mark here 
lock camera to view and press N zoom in now adjust the position of our uh, target bar here so I'll just check it out in my render view here the chocolate bar here looks good to me but uh, I will right click to select my view and I click on smooth here and then now so now the lighting is from uh, this side only so it's not getting the light from this side so I'll just once again go to solid view here and move my lamp point lamp here you can see that I am moving my point lamp here on Z axis so I just check it out once again so color uh, it's on the center here so now I will uh, just quickly uh, render it go to here camera icon now go to here camera icon now click on just render so it will uh, so even it will uh, take time because I am using CPU rendering so I will uh, time lapse my rendering here so So everyone, this is uh, the image uh, after rendering. So it looks good to me. So everyone, if you enjoy this uh, video and if you learn something new from this uh, video, give it a like. And if you did subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on subscribe button and then click bell icon to get daily and weekly updates when I upload a new video. And uh, see you later. That's it for uh, this uh, video.